guys, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie, who is in that room at the moment. Archie! Yay! Great trick. Good job. I'm so glad I got that on camera. Archie is still learning to come to me when I call him, and I am so amazed that when I said his name, he actually flew to me. I'm so excited about today's video because this is my very first time buying anything from ASOS. I hear about ASOS all the time, I see ads for it literally every day online, but I have never ever bought anything from it because up until now, I didn't think that there was anything on ASOS that was my style. How wrong I was, huh? <laughs> so basically when I go online shopping, I always type in the search bar pastel to see what comes up and a whole bunch of stuff came up straight away. And then I narrow down my search and I look for things like unicorn, kawaii, cute, aesthetic, hello kitty, for example. I have a couple of search terms that I always, always look out for. And when I went on ASOS, I was shook. I hate using that word, but I was shook because there was so much stuff. And yes, I did end up spending $2,000. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. Before you get upset though, I'm not going to keep all of this stuff. ASOS has free returns apparently, which is fantastic because anything that I don't like, I can just send back. Now, I bought a whole bunch more than what I really need, but I decided to buy all of this because I wanted it to try on and see, because often you'll see something online and it'll look amazing and then you actually get the thing and it's not great. <laughs> I mean, this isn't Wish, this is ASOS, so I'm sure that the expectation reality is going to be on point for every single item. Anyway, that's enough of an intro. I'm wearing very little makeup today because I'm really worried about staining the clothes, so I've just got some mascara on and a little bit of concealer to hide this terrible pimple, but aside from that, hopefully I'm not going to damage anything and hopefully it stays pristine so that if I don't like it, I can send it back. Before I get into the video, don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm going to start doing these hauls and try-ons at least once a week. I had a shopping problem, not gonna lie. And without further ado, let's get into it. Archie, unfortunately for you, you're not invited to this try-on party because if you poo on any of these clothes, I won't be able to return them. Okay, Archie's gonna go sit on the windowsill. You must be warned though, every time he sits on the windowsill, he likes to screech. So just, just be ready for a couple of peekaboos and what are you doings. <laughs> Package number one. Archie, I just got my first glance of what's in here. I'm freaking out. <laughs> okay. So the first thing, this is my first ever Lazy Oaf purchase. I've never bought anything from Lazy Oaf before. So I got these slippers. Here they are. That is adorable. <laughs> okay. They're huge. They are so impractically huge, but I, I do love the color. I think the, the purple is so cute. And they've got these little lazy oaf smiley things. Look, aren't they cute? <laughs> this is so adorable. I, I'm not really sure how practical these are going to be. So let's put them on and see how they feel. Now, I'm pretty sure these only came in one size, which is a bit unfortunate for me because my feet are actually, my feet are actually hanging out the bottom, but, oh. <gasps> Pulled off the tag, I accidentally stepped on it. Can you see? Okay, this feels really ridiculous to walk in. Now, I'm gonna put all the prices on the screen because I can't remember off the top of my head how much they were. Um, I think I'm actually gonna get changed into some different pants. So the first thing that I'm gonna try is this. This is a ASOS sweat with extreme cutout. Oh my gosh, I have never worn a sweater like this before. I see them all over Instagram and I saw a girl wearing one in a YouTube video the other day. Uh, and it looked really nice. Whoa, this... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I don't know what I think about my hair sticking out like that. Like, I have a hairy chest. What do we think? Do we like it? The pink isn't quite the pink that I thought it would be. This is a really... This isn't pastel pink. I don't know, this is like a bubblegum pink. It's still kind of cute. I'm not mad. I actually really like it. This is heaps cool. I can't really imagine where I'm going to wear it. Can't wait to see Dan's reaction. He's going to be like... What the hell are you wearing? <laughs> they, they ripped you off. They only gave you half a top. No, wait. They, they only gave you a quarter of a top. They really ripped you off. What happened to the rest of it? Next up, we have... This feels a lot like Christmas because despite the fact that I only placed this order a week ago, I've actually forgotten almost everything that I chose. It was a 3 a.m. It was a late night frenzy. I just bought anything that was pink and aesthetic and I can't... Ah! Really 
Archie! I can't remember what half of it is, so. Alrighty, what is this? Oh! This is so cute! What do you call this again? Dungarees? How do you put it on? Okay, here. Obviously, I should have something different on underneath aside from a singlet, but it's got pockets, I think. Yes, it's got pockets. Well, this is cute. What do you think? I love the colour. I've I've never owned dungarees. Is that even a dungaree? That sounds a bit weird. Like dung in Australia is like poo. This is super cute and it's really uh, thick. Like very warm. I feel like on a hot day, it, I, even if you had short sleeves on, I feel like this would be very, very, very hot on a hot day. But no, this is super cute. I like it. Oh, this is huge. What is this? It's like a cookie. <laughs> is this? Oh! Oh! <laughs> this is a jacket! Wow! I didn't think that it would be this big. <laughs> this is huge! This is literally like a doona cover. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Whew, that took a while to get into. <gasps> this is huge. Huge. Absolutely huge. I feel like an aesthetic Michelin man. <laughs> but you know what? This is kind of cool. here I don't understand how do I do it's just like I feel like an octopus look at all my tentacles <laughs> I can't say I love it I mean I do like the color the color is really cool but I feel like it's just the tiniest bit too ah! puffy and I'm not really sure how it's meant to do up is it like this wait Okay, let's let's come back to this. This is very exciting and also very expensive and I probably won't keep it, but I've been wanting to know for so long what the quality of these pieces are like. This is Fenty Puma. This is Rihanna's collection. This hoodie, I fell in love with it when I... Archie, too noisy for our friends to watch? You're gonna have to go back to your cage, huh? I've tossed Archie back in the other room so he can make noises out there, but he'll be back, I'm sure he will. I'm so excited about this. This was, like I said, ridiculously expensive. What did I do wrong? Oh, oh, okay. Now I think that this is called an off-the-shoulder hoodie, which didn't make any sense to me because in the pictures it did look like it was on the shoulders, which it's, it is on my shoulders, but I think that it's just the... Oh, oh. Oh, cool. Okay. Well... Look, this is not particularly flattering at all. I just kind of feel like I'm wearing a purple bag. I love long sleeves and I like long flared sleeves, but this is just, I feel like this is a very expensive raincoat. Oh, oh no. He's back. Okay, let's see what it looks like with the hood on. That's a very big hood. That this is like, yeah, that scene in Harry Potter. Dementor, Dementor! Ooh. A pastel Dementor! Okay, yeah, that's that's cute, but for what I paid for it, I, I don't remember the exact number, but I do remember it was a lot. And I don't, I don't think this is worth that much money. No. But still, it's really cute, I like the colour, but I think this one is going back. Okay, next up we have, I think this is Lazy Oaf. No. Yes! Lazy Oaf boxy jacket with faux fur collar. They sent me a large. I ordered a small, so I don't know how that happened. Pro circle that the large actually fits. Okay, that's really cute. It's got this cute little heart detail on the zipper. I'll show you a close up in a sec. Oh, this, look at all this rubbish. Whoa, <laughs> this is so intense. Oh, oh, this is sick. Yes. Wow, this is so cool. Oh, there's something on the back. It's, it's a large, but it doesn't matter because, like, I don't think it really needs to be tight. Like, it's a leather jacket. Oh, God. It stinks. It actually stinks. Oh. Oh, God. It smells like rubbish. It's like someone got a black rubbish bag, spray painted it silver, and then put some fur on it. That's gross. That is so gross. But, anyway, like I said... It's got this cute little love heart detail on the zipper, I'll show you. Look at that! 
how cute is that? That's adorable. And it's got, are these real pockets? Yes, yes, they're real pockets. This is so swanky. I'm, I'm in love. I mean, I don't normally wear bright metallic-y things because it's not really my color palette. You know, it's not my aesthetic with all the pink things. But that being said, this is so cool that I feel like I can make an exception. I think that I'm gonna keep this. This is so cool. And I don't know what it says on the back. Let's have a look. Problem child. Yes, yes, that's me. That's also Archie over there. Archie is also a problem child. Uh, I have a whole bunch of socks in here. There's Valentine's Sheer Heart Sock. These are cute. I hear movement. Who is it? Come say hello. This is Sam. Hello. Yeah. Hey, what do you got? They're called Valentine's Socks. Don't be so judgmental. <laughs> It's called aesthetics, Sam. You wouldn't understand. Oh no, this one's got a rip in it. Wasn't me. I touched this one, didn't touch that one. Wasn't me. You, you walk in the room and things <laughs> start breaking. I'm devastated. I love them. Thanks, Sam. That's very nice of you. <laughs> okay, well, seeing as they're ripped, I think I might have to send them back. But here's what they look like. Now, look, maybe you can see the rip. Do you, wait, where is it? Here. I don't know if you can see that. So here they are. Uh, I'm not going to put them on because they're already ripped. So I feel like if I if I try and put them on, they're just going to rip further. Okay, so that's really unfortunate about those socks because I was really looking forward to them. So I'm going to have to send those back because they are damaged. The next socks... Now, my followers on Instagram put me onto this trend. I remember ages ago, I posted a story about black fishnets and a whole bunch of people messaged me and they were like, you should buy pink or purple or white fishnets. So luckily I managed to find them on ASOS. I'm gonna open these up a bit later in the video because I have more important things to look at. Like this My Little Pony top. This is old school My Little Pony. So this is the generation of My Little Pony that I grew up with before they turned into like badass, you know, generation X ponies. This is exactly what the toys used to look like when I was a kid. This t-shirt is so cute. I'm so glad I found this. This is actually the very last thing that I added to my order because I thought I was done. And I looked back over my cart and basically everything was pink and purple. And I thought to myself, I should get another color. What's a color that I don't have very much of? Yellow, buttercup yellow. I have one, one cardigan that's yellow. And that's the only yellow thing I own. So I bought this t-shirt and I'm really happy. This is so cute. I love the white detail here and around here. And like I said, these are the My Little Ponies from the 90s, which are the My Little Ponies that I grew up with. So I think that's absolutely adorable and I'm so happy with this. Next up, we have, what's this? ASOS Empower Pep Hem Smock Dress. Okay, let's see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, oh, hmm. Interesting. This doesn't look anywhere near as nice as I thought it would. Actually, before I try this on, Sam, you like My Little Pony, right? Yeah, that's the old shit. I mean, the, that's the blast from the past. Yeah. The best generation. Hashtag nostalgia. Don't deny, you're a brony. Do you like it though? Okay, I don't want your opinion. No, I do, I'm judging it. I'm judging it. Critically judging it in a good way. Yes, answer is yes. Thank you, I'm sorry, I need to take a moment to like yes. Wait, I have one that you're work. definitely going to like. Empower. I love it. But you look ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I love the design. The I just love it, except for the cut and the. <laughs> I a... Oh, it's a it's a dress it's top. It's a dress top dress. Top. Dress top top I dress. I think there's something not quite right here. This. Okay, wait. Maybe if I take my hair this... out. Yeah. No. I don't know. Okay, look, honestly, I feel like it's just a bit long. I feel like if it was like that, maybe that'd kind of be cute, but this is just... Too much. That's... Oh, I don't know, maybe it's because I have pants on. I'm going to take my pants off. <laughs> Bye-bye. I'm leaving. Bye-bye. Well, that's it without pants on. Yeah, it's a bit better without pants on underneath. I feel like there'd be a lot of people that could pull this off. I am not one of them. This just looks really weird on me. Like I said, if it was about that much shorter and maybe a bit tighter. I could pull it off. Sam says he can pull it off. You know what, Sam? No. You should. No. I want to see you wearing this. By the end of this video, I want a shot of you wearing this to see if it looks any better on you than it looks on me. Admittedly, without, without the black, it does look a little bit better. It looks better, a bit better. Only when you pull it off. 
Yeah, like, only you pull it up a, yeah, to that, that's about the right that height. height that's the hand. right height. But that's just an awkward height, so it's a no from me. Yes, this is exciting. This is a two-piece set. This is a Hello Kitty X ASOS collab. I'm so hyped about this. This collection sold out so quickly, and I'm so lucky to have been able to grab a couple of these pieces before they sold out. So there's these adorable tracksuit pants. Now this isn't really my colour, I don't really wear, like this isn't yellow and it's not white, it's just kind of like a creamy colour. I don't really wear creamy colours but I don't mind because it's Hello Kitty. So on the back, let's see if we can get a close up of this. On the back here we have Hello Kitty, like that, and then the little Hello Kitty face. And look at her little hands are on the pockets, ah it's so cute! I love the attention to detail, that's awesome. And then on the sides, it's got the little bows and every one of the bows has a little button. Oh, yes, this is exactly what we want. This is so cute. Now, straight away, with the t-shirt, these pants look kind of cute. Now, these are just bumming around home pants. I wouldn't call these going out anywhere pants, but they're very cute for staying at home. And we'll try on the top. Yes, there's a matching top. All right, now I'm really excited about this top because this is the sort of top that you can wear out. Now it says, je, je t'aime. I'm not really sure what that means. Does anyone speak yes, French? Bon. Sam, do you, know, do you know what this means? Je t'aime. I've read that before. I've read it too. If you speak French, please tell me what it means in the comments below. The sleeves have these cute little uh, bows on them. That's, that's super cute. And on the back, it's got like a Hello Kitty thing there. This is so cool. I feel like it needs a bit of an iron. Uh, if I hike the pants up so they're around my waist, they look a little bit weird. So I kind of feel as though they, it really needs to be worn down here. But the pockets aren't very shallow. Ugh, that's so annoying. I just want to... Je t'aime. A French phrase meaning I love you. Oh, it means I love so, you. Oh, that's... Actually, actually cute. That's okay. Oh, like Do you that. think it's cute? Yeah, I mean, it works. It, it's all right for flopping around at home. I think the top could be worn in public, definitely not the pants. I think I'll keep it, or maybe I'll return the pants and keep the top. I love the top, I'm keeping the top for sure. I'm undecided about the pants. Let me know in the comment section below if you think that I should keep the whole thing. And let me know where you think I should wear it. Is this just to be worn at home, or should this be worn out and about? I don't know. Next up, Lazy Oaf. Valentine's cherub crop top in velour pink. I'm not a lazy oaf. You are a lazy oaf, Sam. I'm not a lazy oaf. Actually, I'm I'm the laziest oaf there is, to be honest. Ooh, ooh, it's very soft. <gasps> ah, I, I see this top all over Instagram. I see people wearing it all the time. I'm so happy I finally own it for myself. <laughs> oh, the inside isn't made of the same material as the outside. The outside is, I think they're calling it velour. So it's like, Extremely, extremely soft. Oh, yay! Oh, this is so cute. I'm. Oh, is that a stain? Oh, I think there's a stain on it. No, no, no. It see it's that material where if you pull it one way, it does a thing, and you push it down, and I don't know how to describe that. Here it is. I don't know who this little character is. It's like a little creeper peeping up over the top of the heart, but. I love the fabric. This is so, so soft. I love it. This is probably my favourite thing so far from the whole haul. Props to you, Lazy Oaf. Actually, this doesn't look too bad with these pants. Just need to do a couple of sit-ups and get a flatter tummy and then it'll be fine. Next up is another Hello Kitty top. Oh, this is a pyjama set. I forgot. I don't know, I don't really like the fabric. This is not stretchy and it's not soft. So. That's not fantastic. It actually looks not, not too bad with these pants too. I feel like I'm ready for the cutest sleep in the world. <laughs> I'm not sold about keeping this. It's cute and all, but the fabric is just kind of very, very eh. It feels like a tablecloth. It doesn't stretch at all and it's not soft in the slightest. So for the price that I paid, I'm not particularly impressed by this. It is cute though. Everything in there now, it's all accessories. So what I'm gonna do is open that last package because there's two tops in there that I'm really excited about. Okay guys, before I open these, I have to let you know, I scoured the internet high and low for this. It was sold out on the website for weeks. And one day I thought I'll try my luck and look back at ASOS. They had a one in each size. Just one. So I reckon someone probably bought it, wasn't that impressed by it, and returned it because it was completely sold out. 
and then these two turned up. It was like the gods heard my prayers, the pastel gods heard my call, they said, oh, she wants this stuff for her haul? Sure, sure, we'll make that person, we'll make Sally over there return it, just so Alex can have it. This is from the same collection, I believe, as the pajamas and all that. Oh, this is so heavy. This is a Hello Kitty sequin dress. Now this was very, very expensive, like ridiculously expensive. So I'm only going to keep it if it is the most wonderful thing I've ever worn on my body in my life. If it makes me feel like a million dollars, then it'll be worth the million dollars that I paid for it. Sam is giving me the weirdest look. Go away, I'm getting changed. It looks amazing on the model, so hopefully it looks good on me. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know what I think because it's black and I don't really wear black anymore. Like I used to be a massive emo, but my black days have passed. Yeah, I, I wish this was pink. If this was pink, this would be so cool. But I'm actually in love. I think this is amazing. This is so cool. What do you think? I think it's beautiful. And look at the back. <laughs> Isn't that just the cutest thing? Does it matter that it's black, even though nothing else that I wear there's no black anywhere, does it matter? Do you think I should keep this? Like, is this cute enough to make up for the fact that the rest of it is black? I don't know, please, I need your help. I need your opinions because for the price, I just don't know if it was worth it or not. It's got Hello Kitty, Hello Kitty. I think it's very cute and very shimmery and I would just want to go out and dance even though I hate dancing and I feel like I should go to a nightclub even though I hate clubbing and I haven't done it in years. This motivates me to want to go out and party. So, I guess that's maybe good enough reason to keep it. <laughs> I don't know, what do you think? Let me know. Ugh. Oh my goodness, I didn't even notice. There's zippers on the sleeves. Oh, that's cool. So you can like open it up like it's got a bell sleeve. Wow, that's awesome. The, the amount of attention to detail that has gone into this is phenomenal. I'm so impressed. Like these little zippers on here and the cute little Hello Kitty face on the back. I just hope that the sequins don't fall off. It seems like it would catch on a lot of things. The last top, this is exciting. I searched, like I said, high and low, day and night. I set up Google alerts, all sorts of things. I looked at Depop, I looked at eBay, I looked everywhere to try and find this. And then ASOS just basically dropped it in my lap and I'm so lucky. Okay, there it is. This is awesome! So it's basically the same as the black one, except not as long. Which is why I said I wish that the black one came in white at that length, because I think I would wear it every single day and never ever take it off. But this is so cute! It's got the same design on the back, the Hello Kitty face. It's not very warm, it's just very heavy. So the material itself is quite thin, but because of the amount of sequins on it, I feel like the sequins would keep you somewhat warm. But you wouldn't want to wear this on a cold night that was windy because the wind would just blow right through the sequins and the fabric underneath them is so thin that you would be so cold. So I'm not really sure what weather that this is appropriate for, but when you're taking Instagram photos, it doesn't matter what the weather is, as long as you're wearing it and you look cute, that's all that matters. Next up, I'm going to have a look at some of these accessories. Now, continuing on with the Hello Kitty trend, I got myself a Hello Kitty beret. I saw it and I could not resist. Now. I was never that interested in berets, but I saw a girl on Instagram recently, I'll put her photo just here, the one that inspired me to buy this, I can't remember what her username is right now, but I remember the photo really well, and I saw that photo, and it made me think, God, I need to get a beret, and then very shortly after that, I spotted this. Beret shortly. What? Beret shortly. Beret shortly. Oh, Sam, you're a funny man. It's cute, I'm not really sure, I think it's meant to be worn like that. I think, but it's got that cute little Hello Kitty on it just there. I'm gonna keep it, I'm not gonna send it back, but it doesn't look as good as I'd hoped it would look. Like, the girl in this picture looks adorable wearing her beret. I just kind of feel like I have a pancake on my head, like a pink pancake. Am I doing something wrong? How am I meant to wear it? Yeah, see there's this thing. So surely that should be directly at the back of your head, right? So that that's how it should be worn, I think. But I think it's very, very cute and I'm very happy with it. We have these sunglasses. Look, I only bought these because I don't have very many cute sunglasses. They come with a bag, which is great. And let's see what they look like. Oh, they're very tight. Oh! I feel like Dolores Umbridge. Hey Sam, come, come have a look at what I'm wearing. And tell me 
Who I look like. Who do I remind you of? Oh shit. Meryl Streep in Devil Wears Prada. Yes! That is not who I was thinking of, but 100% yes. Sorry, was... when, you, when you just did that thing where you like pulled it and did like, not a huffing face, but yeah, that. I was like, <laughs> Devil Wears Prada. <laughs> uh, I was actually thinking I look like Dolores Umbridge, but... No, I think you're right. This is more stylish than Professor Umbridge. No. I mean, there's not enough pink and also not enough just seething hatred rolling off you in waves. <laughs> yeah, you're right. True. That's, that's the Umbridge. You that's the know. Umbridge. Do you like the beret? Do you want it here? Come, come put it on. Maybe it'll look better on you. Okay, it looks better on Sam than it looks on me. That's really annoying. Okay, yeah, you can have that by the yeah, way. Stolen. I'm not sure about these sunglasses. It says they're UV protected. They have like a pinkish tint and they're extremely tight around my head. There was no size options. This is very small. I feel like, oh, actually when I pose like that, they look a lot better. But I, if I do this, they look better than if I do that. That just looks really weird. That though, yes. Hmm, what's in here? I don't know. <gasps> I'm so excited! Yes! I'd forgotten about these. These are so cute! Okay, it's again from the ASOS Hello Kitty collection. These are earrings. They're Hello Kitty earrings. They're metal and they're Hello Kitty's head. Can you see that? So that's them. They are so cute. I spotted them and I knew I had to have them. I don't know what they're going to look like on my ears though. And I don't know how I'm going to get them on. The are bit awkward. How does this mechanism work? Ah! Ah! How does it work? Yeah, no. I see. And shoot. Ugh. Oh my god, this is a really weird feeling. Especially because you're wearing a lab coat. I feel like you're about to perform surgery on me. <laughs> He's wearing a lab coat because He's cooking bacon and he has this lab coat from when he did a science degree and now he just uses it as an apron to stop bacon fat splattering on- It works really well. How did you do that? I don't understand. Honestly, these are already a no from me because if you need someone else to help you put your earrings in, yeah, He's right, but yeah. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna get rid of them. I think the- Like Dan will hate these because you'll, you'll be like, Dan, can you help me put in my earrings <laughs> every day? So basically you, you put it through and then you've got to like push that under and then clip the thing over the top and then they like push up into the little gap Oh, there. okay. Oh my gosh. This is so much harder than it should be. But I also don't want to like accidentally <laughs> rip oh, is it pulling? Yeah. Yeah, no, that'll, that'll be that'll be fine for the for the video. It'll be fine. Okay. It'll stay. Right. Wow. After all that trauma, tra trauma, trauma, trauma. It's trauma and drama. Let's have a look at them. I think they're really, really, really cute. However, that was an absolute nightmare to get them on. That was ridiculous. I can't believe how long that took. But it's totally worth it because I think they're adorable. Oh, I got another pair of sunglasses. I forgot about these. These were a last minute purchase. They suckered me into buying them. I was just about to check out and it popped up and it was like, things you might also like. And then I saw pearls and I was like, ah, yes, ASOS, correct. I do also like those. So what do you think? I think this shape suits me a lot better. I think the bigger glasses suit me better than what those smaller ones did. These are really cool. I have an issue where my face is very uneven. Like I think that my right ear is lower than my left ear because my sunglasses always sit on an angle. But yeah, I love them. I think it's a bit weird that they're blue, but it totally doesn't matter. Like they are really cool. I'm very happy with those. These are socks. These are crazy socks. Like wild, wild socks. And I only bought them because <coughs> Yeah, see, Archie knows they're wild. He's like, wow, look at this. This is ridiculous. I don't know why I bought these. Let's put them on. They kind of match my top. <laughs> That's the most extra thing I've ever put on my body in my whole life. I think they're reversible. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are. So if you, if you push them one way, they go silver. And then if you pull them, they go rainbow. But I can't imagine putting my feet into shoes with these on? Would that not just screw screw them up and make all the sequins fall off? I don't know, that's yeah. really weird. Next up, ah. this is my first purchase from Skinny Dip London. I always see Kayla Hadlington posting about these people and I'd never heard of it until I saw them on Instagram. This is kind of expensive. It's almost like they've copied the Chanel boy bag style. The chain feels a little bit cheap. Like, it, it is a heavy-ish chain, but it doesn't feel as heavy as I would like, but, yeah, it's alright. 
It's kind of cute. I feel like it looks a bit silly with this outfit. It's cute, but I, I don't think I'm gonna keep it. I don't know, what do you think? Do you think I should keep it? It might look nice up on my shelf, maybe, but I feel like it would just stay on the shelf. I don't think I would actually wear it. And also it doesn't feel that good quality for what I paid for it. Next up, we have another Hello Kitty item. This is a little bit expensive. It's called a Tangle Teaser. Uh, it's a hairbrush, basically, to keep in your purse. I bought it because it's Hello Kitty. That's the only reason. I like the way that it has, uh, uh, like that. So basically you can do that and then when it's in your handbag, it's not gonna catch on things and the hair's probably not gonna go everywhere. It's actually kind of a cool shape. Like it feels really good to hold. My hair is pretty tangled from all the clothes I just tried on. It's kind of getting through it, I guess. But this is without a doubt the most expensive little hairbrush I've ever bought in my life. Well, hey, I've used it to brush my hair now, so I guess there's no returning it. There's no going back now. I guess I have to keep it. Oops. Okay, next up I have these adorable little socks. Now these are again fishnet socks. I didn't show you the other ones, but I don't think I'm gonna bother just because they're pretty basic. But these ones, these are cool. These have a ribbon on the back of them. It'll stick up over the top of the shoes that you're wearing, which I think is adorable. Let's try these on. Take off these crazy sparkle socks, which I don't know if I'm gonna keep or not. Like, again, I feel like these have no practical purpose whatsoever. I'm really excited about these. I see these all over Instagram. Ah, yay, super cute. That's a very, 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 very long ribbon. And then I also got long white fishnets. I'm not gonna try those on. Fishnets are the biggest pain in the world to put on. Ah, yes! Ah, oh, look, I've been wanting a pair of these for ages, ever since I first saw them on Instagram. I'm really not a big fan of the fact that it's brown around here. I saw them online and they were white, but these are the only pair that they had left on ASOS, and unfortunately that is brown, and I think that's really, really gross. But if I think they're really cute when I put them on, then I, I don't mind. I think it's okay. I'll, I'll look past it. I don't know, am I meant to undo this shoelace or do I just slide my foot in? Oh yeah, I think I can just slide them on. Oh, oh they're so cute. Oh, okay, I don't mind that they're brown, that's fine. That's totally fine because these are adorable. I haven't bought a nice pair of sneakers in ages. Like all the shoes that I have are really cheap and not particularly comfy, but these feel like they have support for the soles, which is good because I actually have flat feet and this feels like there's a bit of an arch, which is really nice. I'm a bit bummed out that they're brown on the bottom. That's not particularly aesthetic at all. But from the top, they're very cute and I like them a lot. So they're a winner. I bought these because my friend has them and She's been, she wears them everywhere and I used to hate this type of shoe. You'll see what I'm talking about in a sec. I used to absolutely hate them, but then I had to borrow my friend's pair one day. I was at her house and we had to duck out to the shops and I didn't want to lace up my shoelaces and I was like, can I wear those? And she said yes and I wore them and they were so comfy. Yes, they are a pair of slides. <laughs> Never thought I would be wearing slides because I used to despise them. I had a friend that wore them all the time and I was like, look at her dumb shoes. And I thought they were so stupid. But now I've bought myself a pair just because they're so comfy and so convenient. These are really big. These are a size 10. This is about two sizes too big for me, but it's the only pair that they had. Oh, here comes judgmental Sam. I heard slides. Oh uh, yeah, they're very big. Uh, actually, it doesn't matter that they're big. Yeah, these, these are cool. This is awesome because look, the only other pair of slides I have I bought these oh, as a novelty from Nova Shoes in Australia and I've never once worn them in public because they're ridiculous but the ones that I'm wearing now they're a lot more sensible and they're really really super super comfy. Ah! Yeah Archie isn't it cool? So they're a winner and then I feel like I can slap people around with them too. I feel like that would be really satisfying. Yeah that's satisfying. Wow there's only one more thing to be unboxed and it is a pair of Reebok shoes. Again, this was a, a very last minute purchase. I wasn't meaning to buy these, but I spotted them and I fell in love with them. These are so cool. Ah. Check this out. I can't believe they're Reeboks. I can't believe these like big name sporting companies are making such beautiful things. Like whatever happened to ugly old sneakers? Look at this, look at this quilting. It's like Chanel quilting. This is amazing. And it's got these beautiful gold details here and uh, once again, these are too big for me. These are way too big. This is the last pair that they had in stock. I feel like if you wear big enough socks, it doesn't really matter. They look very feminine, like the, the shape of the shoe is very thin, which I think is lovely. I feel like these are gonna get dirty very easily. Oh, they are very roomy. 
Yeah, they're a little bit big. Uh, hopefully it doesn't matter. No, I don't think it does. Like, they don't look like they're too big on me. I mean, they are, but they don't look like they are. I'm very happy with those two. Well, guys, that's it. That's everything. That is my gigantic haul. <laughs> I have a few more coming up. I have a Boohoo haul, a massive one. There's Chu, there's Runway, there's eBay, AliExpress, another Wish haul. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Okay, don't forget to let me know in the comment section below what your favorite piece of clothing was. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you think there was something that was crazy and I should return it, please let me know because some of them I'm absolutely 100% sold on. I love them. And there's a few things in there that I was a little bit like, eh, you know, it was all right. Please let me know down below what you liked the most and Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Mwah.